So I keep seeing new TikTok houses popping up and I realized, wait a minute, I live in a house and I have TikTok. I could make a TikTok house. First things first, I needed to name the house. So I thought I'll close my eyes, spin in a circle, and the first thing I see when I open them, I'll name it. Okay, so I passed out because I got too dizzy. But when my eyes opened, I saw a piece of chocolate. I thought, oh, the cocoa house. That's cute. But as my eyes focused, I realized it was actually my dog's doo-doo. But then I had the idea, the doo-doo house. I started cleaning up so it didn't look like I was filming TikToks in a dumpster. Then I checked to see if there were towels so that all the stinky TikTokers can shower. But then I remembered I ran out of toilet paper weeks ago and I've been using... Anyways, finally, it was time to recruit people. I DM'd over 50 celebrities, TikTokers, YouTubers. I even told the girl who sings Dance Monkey that she's banned from the doo-doo house, and she literally replied. <laughs> so I had just finished filling out all my private information and passwords to claim my free MacBook Pro that I won from this one email I got. Until I heard a knock at my door. I was feeling a little bit scared because it was 3 a.m., but I remembered I gave them my social security number, so that means they are going to keep me safe. I was going to go turn my computer off and head upstairs to check the door, but it said that a virus was shutting it down for me. Now, I don't want the coronavirus, but if it's going to start doing things for me, well then, homegirl can, like, get it. I crept upstairs so I wouldn't wake up my dog, and I opened up the door, but, like, there was no one there. Then I heard a weird sound come from downstairs and saw that my computer was on. I'm like, I thought Miss Corona turned it off. There was a message on the screen from a hacker saying, I'm watching you? I started screaming because I don't know how to process conflict any other way. But then I was surprised to see a message that said, your outfit's cute. Listen, I'm so starved for human attraction that we fell in love. I'm Ben and you're watching Hack Into My Heart, the new reality TV show on TLC. I was really bored, so I tried to buy the most expensive thing on Gucci's website for funsies, but that's when I remembered, Ben, you can't afford Taco Bell. So I was typing random numbers, hoping one was an actual credit card number, and nothing was working. I was like, well, there goes my wall alpaca cardigan. Finally, I tried 69, 69, 69, 69. Expiration date, April 20th, aka 420, <laughs> and security code 666, and I hit enter. I was like, uh, oh. well, that was fun. So I closed my laptop, but then I got an email. Hey, my order had shipped. And then suddenly I heard a knock at the door, and I was like, oh. I didn't know what I just did, so I checked my doorbell cam and there was a stranger there then i heard the door open and then there were footsteps coming towards me and then falling uh and then the intruder got up and said this is the fbi we've got you and i was like you've got me you think you've been watching me for the past month i've had my fbi agent's laptop bugged every time he logs in to watch me i've been watching him in fact i ordered this exact item knowing it would bring him here he ran back to his hq to open up his laptop and in disbelief there i was fully in control of the fbi system checkmate so i was making a delicious quarantine meal of salad and licorice aka diabetes salad when something caught my eye outside my kitchen window i looked across my yard to see my neighbor had left a message for me i immediately thought bruh i'm about to have a taylor swift music video love story but then i remember that my neighbor is a 72 year old grandma named myrtle that smells like moldy peas i looked closer and saw that her sign just said hello i thought okay she seems pretty friendly so i grabbed some paper and decided to write a note back i scribbled down hi myrtle and drew some hearts i ran upstairs to my window left it there overnight hoping that i could have some fun with that elderly bag of bones and skin. Then the next morning, I ran upstairs to see what she'd written back. So anyways, I'm currently hiding in my basement with my dog and my Animal Crossing trying to figure out what to say back. So I'm scrolling through Twitter and I see that Justin Bieber was diagnosed with Lyme disease. Immediately, I roll up my sleeve and ask the tick that's been sucking my blood for the past five days that I picked up in Zimbabwe if he's gonna give me Lyme disease. Are you gonna give me Lyme disease? No, bro, you're good. I'm clean. Feeling relieved, I go back to bed. Wait, I do have lemon disease, though. Lemon disease? What? <laughs> All right, sir. The man that robbed you, what color were his eyes? His eyes were hazel. And what about accessories? What was he wearing? Did he have glasses, a hat? He had glasses on. He had these square glasses. All right, son. Take a look at the screen. Was this the man that robbed you? So I was busy trying to carbonate milk with my mom's soda stream and make milk soda when my friend who lives in a different city texts me, come here now. I get really scared when people send a text and end it with a period. So naturally I ignored the text and laid in bed and stressed about it until 30 minutes later when they texted me again. I checked the text and it said, it's an emergency. And I was like, uh, emergency? It's emergency. Just like call 911 or something. But then I thought, uh, maybe they're like hamster died or something. So I got up, got all the way in my car, turned on some Harry Styles. But then after 20 minutes of driving, I had to pull over because I was crying too hard. 
god. <laughs> Sometimes when I listen to a really good song in the car, I kind of lose track of how fast I'm going. So while I was in the middle of vibing, um, I saw a flashing lights behind me. But then I remembered getting arrested is a choice, and today I choose not to be arrested. <laughs> so it turns out that's actually not my choice, but I can get these really cool mugshot pictures out of it. You should totally go check them out on my Instagram. It's at Ben of the Week. And comment crazy frog if you came from this TikTok. Okay, love you, bye. Someone thousands of years ago looked at this cute little animal and thought, Ooga booga, we will cook and eat it! But then they saw this little one and they're like, guys, we can't cook and eat this one. This one, we're gonna name Oreo and put a little bow tie on it. But then they saw this one and they thought, double combo! We're gonna cook and eat this one and then we're also gonna play with a little dangly thing that hangs by its butthole until it shoots out white liquid and then we're gonna drink it and not ask any questions. And then they saw this one. And decided to eat this too despite it looking like a demon! Dog and I freak out, click it, I buckle my seatbelt. W dog cool math names are calm when I'm done with my horses. Nay, 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 nay. And this not a sin house, I read the Bible. You know I ain't square now. I don't know how to drive a dang automobile, but I bring the dang hot wheels. Dang, 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 dang. I'm not an e-girl, I am in preschool. I was seeing how many oranges I could fit in my mouth before throwing up when my doorbell rang. I wasn't expecting anyone, and when I answered it, there was no one there, just a notebook. It was kind of creepy, but when I opened it, I realized it was for my horse girl cousin Gretchen, and she'd drawn me, uh, Peppa Pig? I thought I'd draw her something back, so I made, um, two minions in love, and I left it in the same place for her. The next morning, the doorbell rang again, and I opened it to find another Peppa, so I took the liberty of drawing Rainy Rodriguez as my sleep paralysis demon, and put it back the same place as yesterday. Oh, However, the next day I received something completely different. When I opened the sketchbook, Peppa had turned into bacon? Is, is this a threat? I texted her, haha, very funny, Gretchen, stop coming to my house. And she was like, what? And so I replied, Peppa time is canceled, Gretchen. And she replied, I don't know what you're talking about. So, knowing that wasn't Gretchen the whole time, I felt completely terrified, so I watched some seafood ASMR eating and fell asleep. I woke up to my leg burning from my laptop, my hand kind of felt weird, and I noticed I was covered in bacon. Anyways, now I'm completely terrified, and I don't know what to draw in return. Please help. So, I was on the phone with 911 because I had made some banana soup with a hint of ranch dressing and I'd left the gas burner on. And I was scared my house would blow up. So I said, please help. And the operator was like, it's gonna be okay. We're on our way. And me being so starved for human interaction replied, okay, <laughs> I'll see you soon. <laughs> and I began to prepare for my date with the emergency services person. I dimmed the lights to set the mood. And then I set the table and put out the banana soup I'd cooked earlier and poured some fancy juice de orange. I changed out of my depression fit into something slightly less depressing and attempted to fix my hair but i ended up wanting to cut it all off and had a mental breakdown but i was like mm, another day <laughs> suddenly i heard the doorbell ring I got up and ran over to let them in, but I was so excited that I didn't see the charger on the floor. I forgot there was gas in my house, and I tripped over it and it created a spark, and next thing you know, um... <laughs> I've been quarantined for 18 days now. I know it's only supposed to be 14 days, but I went and got tested a week ago, and they never called me back. Did they maybe call me three times to tell me the results, and I declined it because I have phone anxiety? Maybe. At least I got a free mask. Anywho, I'm sitting here after waking up at 8 p.m. because my sleep schedule is worse than the song Dance Monkey, and I thought to myself, if I woke up one morning and didn't feel too good, and then all of a sudden I just pass away like that, like bada bing, bada boom, gone, no one, literally no one, would know. My local Taco Bell might wonder why no one orders five chalupas in one order anymore, or maybe my dog will eat me and realize she doesn't have an owner and then leave the house to start a new life. And then she's driving to work one day, and someone stops her car and says, hey, is that a dog driving that car? And then it hit me that it would likely be months until someone discovered me and I'd probably be covered in wasps and maggots and- Hey, that got really dark. Do you know the plural term for platypus is platypi? They have venomous claws. Anyways, I'm gonna go cry now. Bye. Me and my 80-year-old neighbor Myrtle have been leaving each other messages through our windows to stay entertained during quarantine. That's until yesterday when she wrote a very threatening sign. I know she's an old lady, but that made my anxiety go ding, 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 ding. When I went downstairs, the door was open, like she said, and there was a box. But then my ADHD distracted me, and I started thinking, why did Marty Rich name a song The Box? Is he, like, just rapping about a box if he order? Ow. Snap out of it, Ben. You potentially have an elderly intruder in your house. She could, like, bite me with her dentures or something and give me corona. I took the box and screamed, leave me alone, Myrtle, and then went to go make my final sign. I placed it in my window where I knew she would see it. Here's a fun Ben fact. I'm an expert in archery, and I'm not afraid to turn her into Myrtle on a stick. I felt prepared, but all I could do now was wait around for Myrtle to make her move, but I got curious and decided to check out the box. It could have been booby-trapped, ha, <laughs> booby, for all I know, but I opened it anyways, and... 
it turns out it was cookies. She baked me cookies. So I was making my delicious quarantine meal of tortilla chip cereal, but as soon as I took a bite, I dropped a piece on the ground and my freaking dog ate it. And I thought to myself, isn't it weird how us humans just live with animals? Like somehow a wolf evolved into this cute little rat looking thing, even though she wouldn't survive a day in the wild. But as I was making this TikTok, I was like, wait, where's Kobe? And I caught her in the corner of my eye running directly towards the road. I ran so fast they canceled the Olympics because they knew I would just win everything. Anyway, she was almost at the street and to my left was a car coming. I thought to myself, am I willing to lay down my life for this little rat? And I was like, nah, I'm not ready to meet Bob Ross and Grumpy Cat in heaven. So I just let the car turn her into a pancake. Of course I would say for are you crazy? I lunged in front of the car and shoved her out of the way, but um, uh, and so it turns out the car was parked the whole time and like was not going anywhere. Hey, it's not my fault that I have poor depth perception. <laughs> Myrtle, why are you walking so slow, man? You're 80. The Grim Reaper's right there. He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. I bet your bones would just go snap, crackle, pop if I just hit the gas right now. You're finally done. Who would have thought? Not me. Myrtle, your husband has fallen and cannot get up. I recently brought my son Nathaniel to the McDonald's play place, and I found him drinking pee in the play place. Drinking what? My son, he came out with this lemonade, and I was like, Nathaniel, they don't serve lemonade at McDonald's. And he was drinking urine. Did you speak to a manager? Or Nathaniel, stop drinking the dog's pee right now! This is me buying a live crab from the store and freeing it into the ocean. The guy at the store was like, you know how to cook this, right? And I was like, oh, we are not cooking Mr. Krabs. As I was walking, some dude yelled at me and I got scared. And then this guy was walking around with an iguana. I'm like, it's my day to have an exotic pet, buddy. Look at his cute little mouth moving. Aw. I took him to the Santa Monica Pier before I freed him. And that's when I saw this guy literally kick a pigeon. I hate it here. Now, crabs can live 24 hours outside of water, but I thought, let's just free him already. Then some cops were staring at me and I got scared. I picked him up and I run to the beach and I laid him down gently on the sand. He was barely moving, so I ran into the waves to try and get him in deeper so he could swim or something, but he took a bit of a tumble. So it wasn't looking good for Mr. Krabs and I started crying, but then he started moving again and I thought, it's now or never. I scooped Mr. Krabs up and I ran over to that water and I dropped him in that water ever so gently. Oh crap, we are out of time. I woke up this morning after having a nightmare where zombie Shawn Mendes and zombie Camila Kabubu were trying to eat me. I woke up terrified and reached for my water bottle full of Red Bull, but when I looked in my hand, there was like some spot that I'd never seen before. I quickly searched to see what it was and it said that it was cancer, but like, I'm a Virgo, so that made no sense. Anyways, I was still a little bit spooked, so I sent a picture of it to my doctor, and then I carried on with my day, which was watching three seasons of one show and then playing 47 games of Fortnite until 6 a.m. But the next morning I woke up and it was like itchy and bubbling, and I was like, okay, this is a demon. And just then I got a text from my doctor and he was like, did you mean to send me a Roblox meme? And I was like, uh, oopsie. <laughs> so I sent him the actual picture and went back to bed. But when I woke up, there was like 30 more and I was like, ah, and I started crying and they were on my face too. And my doctor texted me that they were a flesh eating insect and I cried some more until one fell in my mouth. And it had a little crunch and honestly kind of tasted like bacon. So like I ate a few more and next thing you know, I'm spooning these bugs in my mouth like it's Lucky Charm cereal. Today I woke up sad and single for the 7,347th day of my life. As I got up to drink my water bottle full of stale Red Bull, I thought, no, this ends today. <laughs> Okay, here goes nothing. Dear Zendaya, you don't know me, but I love you. This is my formal marriage proposal to you. April Fool's was yesterday, so I'm dead serious. I would love to marry you on the set of Shake It Up, but the set's actually on top of a boat in the middle of Fiji. And I've invited every Disney Channel icon. Look, there's Bertram from Jesse sitting next to Bob Duncan from Good Luck Charlie. Oh, and there's Mr. Mosby from The Sweet Life. Wait, why is everyone in the audience a bald man? Anyways, I invited Bella Thorne, but she couldn't make it because they stopped her at the airport because she was trying to smuggle drugs. Anyways, I truly believe you were the most beautiful woman on the planet. If I could describe how you make me feel it's like when you see a hydraulic press video and they squish a piece of soap and it becomes little soap noodles in the air now my net worth is three dollars and a half you subway gift card so i made my own little soap noodle ring just for you so zendaya will you be my wife guys please send this to her if she sees this i will scream some of y'all be taking your pictures like cheese eh. but when that tongue comes out it be looking like cheese if you open your mouth and it looks like you have a mozzarella cheese fondue in there, well then you can call me lactose intolerant because I will not tolerate that. You better go grab your little tongue scrub brush and head over to that tongue Remy from Ratatouille. Well, that about does it for the checkup. How's soccer practice? How's your mother doing? How, how's life been? Oh, it looks like you might be developing some gingivitis right there. Gingivitis? My hair is brown. Hey, little buddy, how was your trip to Mexico? I had fun. We went to 
went snorkeling. We went to the beach. Sick little dude. That's always fun. I got very tan. Look, I'm almost as brown as you. Oh, God. Please don't say it. Please don't say it. Today I looked in the mirror and thought, hmm, that's not me. That's a skinny little stick bug. I've had no motivation to go get up and make a proper meal for the past month that I look like a stick bug. I'll eat maybe one brownie that has no nutritional value and then go back to bed at 2 p.m. Or I'll eat four tortilla chips and then say, bon appetit, baby, dinner served. So I thought if there's ever been a time to get so many muscles, I look like a cumulonimbus cloud and drift off into the atmosphere, it's now. What I lacked was motivation. So to get a good jump start to my insane Dwayne The Rock Johnson workout routine, I went outside in freezing weather completely naked into the snow. In addition to giving myself hypothermia, my elderly neighbor Myrtle saw my lovely peaches and had a heart attack. To try and warm up before I literally die, I put my Crocs into sport mode and started running on the treadmill. And like, it wasn't that bad until I sneezed. I accidentally hit the 10 miles per hour button instead of the 2 miles per hour that I was leisurely walking at. And well, I took a little bit of a tumble. I woke up 10 minutes later feeling a little bit tingly to look down and see that my foot had fallen off. Anyways, now I only use the treadmill to serve myself English muffins because I can't walk. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, don't don't cry, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, don't cry, it's okay. Stop, 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 stop! Stop it, stop it, stop it! Hey there, what's up? Just wanted to quickly remind you today to drink some water and DO NOT SAY that water tastes disgusting. It's water, you idiot. It doesn't have a taste! There's a reason why your forehead looks like the topographical map of Utah, and that's because you don't drink water! Oh, are you a little baby who needs a little baby bottle of juice? No, you idiot. Drink the freaking earth juice. Hey, pal. This might come as a shock, but... Ow! Ha ha ha, funny. You shocked me with static. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. That's funny. But no, um, I came to tell you that your cat just got hit by a car. <laughs> If we take some group pictures together and you only post the ones where I look like Danny DeVito got possessed by a DEMON! Let me tell you one thing, you are toxic! Second of all, that same demon is going to emerge from my body and possess you to delete those pictures RIGHT NOW! There is no reason why you get to look like an insta baddie while I have to look like a sleep paralysis DEMON!